Well, hello and good evening, YouTube. It is a Friday. I am Kenny, and you are on the Mail Kelly Beer Review channel. And today we're drinking another local Minnesota brewery. This one's really close to home. And Omni and Maple Grove just can't seem to stop themselves from uh, creating new and uh, inventive New England IPAs. So I go there a lot. I give them a lot of my money because they won't stop making beers that I love. They make a lot of other really, oh wow, that smells really good. Uh, they make a lot of other really good beers. Um, this one we got Mosaic, Citra, Belma. I haven't heard, I don't know Belma. Uh, oh wait, never mind. Hold on. <laughs> Aftermath. So they've had a lot of like, I don't know if they're intentionally doing it, but uh, a couple of their beers they've been doing like, uh, you know, like 90s, early 90s uh, rap kind of, you know, Dr. Dre and kind of stuff like that themes, it seems like. Um, but uh, this one on the back, Mosaic, Citra, Belma. We've been there, done that. You got hops, we got hops. Meet Sabro, one of the latest West Coast hits with aromas of coconut, tangerine, hint of cream, the aftermath. So we got one here. If I remember right, 8%, yep. I think this was a double New England too, because I've had this in their store, but uh, or in their brewery, and I decided, hey, I'm gonna go to the local liquor store one day and browse what they got. Hi V, if you're uh, familiar with them around here in the Twin Cities areas, they sell this stuff, and they usually have it on sale. I don't know what it is, but I find it cheaper at Hy V liquor stores than anywhere else. Um, but yeah, let's take a sip. The smell is wonderful. Mm, I do get a lot of that uh, coconut, uh, coconut tangerine kind of, it does make it kind of a citrus, a creamy citrus scent, if you will. It's kind of hard to describe, but oh man, they sure know how to make a New England IPA. Mm. Oh my gosh. This is great. I absolutely love the way this tastes. At 8%, it's a pretty potent beer. And it's so smooth and so, I mean, it's, for, for a New England IPA, it kind of, it kind of feels heavier with the weediness and whatnot, but like the hoppiness and stuff, you know, it's so low and everything. So it's really easy to drink that you can get in trouble with these ones. They're so good. Aftermath. Oh, excuse me. Little burp, little burp. Yeah, I really love what Omni does. They've, I've, how many have I done on this channel now? I can't remember. I've done a few, but this is a very good New England IPA. Mm. Gosh, that is so tasty. Like, I feel like if they're not like out of state, I have no idea if they sell their stuff out of state yet or not. But I feel like if anyone watches my channel, they're like, man, I really love New England IPAs. I'd really love to try what you're talking about. This sounds great. I probably need to get on some sort of beer, like, trading thing so more people can experience how wonderful this beer is. It's so good, dude. Like, I don't think I've had one I've, like, I've disliked from them as far as New England IPAs goes. They just nail it out of the park every time with these. I don't know. And they, they switch it up too with like this one, like different hops and stuff, you know, it's, it's it keeps it unique and fresh. Fad, they always have like year round now. That's crazy popular. And yeah, I hope, I hope that never goes away. That one's definitely my go-to for New England IPAs. Mm. Dang. That's really good. And don't you worry, you stay tuned to this channel. I got other types of beers in there for you uh, non-New England IPA people. So, yeah, consider subscribing to my channel for more of this, more of many other things. Just got a new car. Uh, it's 23 years old, so it's not exactly new, but it's new to me. So, yeah, thanks for watching my channel. This is a delicious beer. Omni nailed it yet again. Well done. 
And yeah, I guess leave a comment, leave a like if you enjoyed this. Otherwise, yeah, consider subscribing if you haven't already. Um, and if you are a subscriber, thanks for watching and uh, enjoy your Friday.